what is going on guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be learning um how to comment out code in java uh, and we're continuing the code academy uh learn java series so we'll start with commenting code in this episode uh, so writing code is an exciting process of instructing the compiler to complete fantastic tasks Code is also read by people and we want our intentions to be clear to humans, just like we want our instructions to be clear to the computer. Fortunately, we're not limited, we're not limited to writing syntax that perform a task. We can also write comments. So comments are notes to human readers about code. These comments are not executed, so there is no need for valid syntax within a comment. So how you write signal line comments are going to be just with a double slash. To write a multi-line comment, you would use uh, the slash, so backslash, asterisk, and then asterisk, backslash, s. Another type of uh, commenting option is the Java doc comment, which is represented by backslash two asterisks and then the asterisk backslash. So Java doc comments are used to create documentation for APIs. When writing Java doc comments, remember that they will eventually be used in the documentation that your users might read. So, so make sure to be especially thoughtful when writing these comments. So here's an example of a Java doc comment. And then here's how a com how a comment would look inside of a complete program. So you have um, Java doc comment here, and then you have a single line comment, single line comment right there. And comments are different from printing to the screen when we use system dot out dot print line. These comments won't show up in our terminal. They're only for people who read our code in the text editor. So our task, um, first task is to, the file timeline.java, which is right here, um, has plain task text information about Java. So you can see it prints out, hello Java, you were born in 1995. And then there's just random text here and then random text here. Okay. So let me let me get rid of this. All right, there we go. So that's what this looks like. So plain text facts aren't valid syntax. So we'll need to use comments to avoid breaking the program. Use a single line comment for the first fact. Change this line into a comment. So this line and we change it to a comment. So since this is just a single line, we can just use uh, the double backslash. And yeah, let me do it again. Boom. And I believe that works. Run it. Okay. And then our program is still broken. As you can see, um, you still have an error right there. So use a multi-line uh, syntax to make these lines into a single comment. So again, it's backslash asterisk, and then you go all the way to the end, uh, asterisk backslash. And another uh, shortcut for you guys, if you'd rather not do that, I think you can use um, command, uh, command uh, backslash, and it, comments everything out for you. So that's just another uh, single shortcut when you're uh, processing through that. But the uh, correct way to uh, do multi-line comments is like this, uh, asterisk backslash, like that. All right. And then we have this, yep. Perfect, so that's all we needed to do. And then um, we're also gonna be learning about semicolons and white space in here. So 
uh, as we saw with comments, reading code is just important as writing code. So we should write code that is easy for other people to read. Those people can be coworkers, friends, or even yourself. Java does not interpret white space. Uh, the areas, um, the areas of the code without syntax. So this is white space. Okay, but humans uh, use white space to read code without difficulty. So for example, these two are exactly the same. Um, it will still print out Java, Lava, Guava, but it's really hard to tell what goes where, what ends what. Like this is way cleaner code. So they'll print the exact same text on the screen, but which would you prefer to read? Like even if, like even when I was reading this, I was confused because you had to yeah. So Java does not interpret semicolons or it does interpret semicolons. Semicolons are used to mark the end of a statement. One line of code that performs a single task. The only statements we've seen so far are system.out.println and then you have a random text in here and then semicolon. Let's contrast statements with the curly brace. Curly braces mark the scope of our classes and methods. There are no semicolons at the end of the curly braces. So you can't put a semicolon right here. That's illegal in Java. All right, so we have the language dot the language facts dot Java file prints information about the Java to the screen. Fortunately, the writer of the file has avoided using white space. Make the file easier by adding a new line after each statement. So simply, I want to make this a little easier to read. And let's let's see. Does that work? Yep. Inside the main statement, add a new statement printing how you feel about coding. Start with the message. Okay. So add a new statement. Okay. Okay. So we'll do system dot out print line and then semicolon. The inside of here we do text. So the program is fun. Alright, and remember you need a semicolon here. And let's run it. Voila. That is uh that's the end of it. And we are going to stop right here for today. Um in the next video I'll go over compilation. Um, but for this video, that is it. I thank you guys so much for watching and uh, make sure to subscribe if you aren't and like the video if you did enjoy this. And I'll see you guys in the next one.